So basically, uh, since we've had more of the advanced in the show today, we did more of the refining of the Wittek Laptic Labanico. So I'll cover that in previous videos, but we now have to uh, turn this into more of a combat application. Uh, we have forward momentum coming forward, or if you're able to receive forward momentum on your opponent. So forward momentum coming at you, and then you receiving forward momentum. So with the forward momentum coming at me, continuing on with the umbrella block, from here, here, I can go out. What is that? When he goes forward, I sidestep and get out of the way for my foot strike. All right, one more time. From here, from the umbrella block, he goes forward. My checking hand pushes him out the way I do the side step, sets him up for my foot tick or retraction hit. Same thing with my lap tick from here, here, here. Lap tick follows him. Okay. Since he has the momentum coming forward, I just don't want to stand here because I can lose my balance. That's why I always want to go to the side. So from here, he goes forward, side step, finish. Okay. Same thing with my abanico strikes. From here, he goes forward, abanico, here. All right, so these may not be knockout shots, but these might be, um, but these shots would be annoying for him to set them up for my power shot. So from here, he goes forward, one, two, three, sorry, and then finish with my power strike. So this is just to distract him, to set him up for my power strikes. So that's four momentum coming at me. If I got four momentum going on my side, so let's say here, and I'm able to go forward, all right? From here, notice that my checking hand comes in, sets him up for my with tick shot. One more time. My umbrella block, here, I push him with tick shot. Again, here, here, lob tick, okay? Again, my umbrella, go forward, stop him, lob tick. So if I'm going forward, my checking hand is like uh, kind of similar to um, uh, a running back stiff arm. I want to make sure I stiff arm him to set him up for my shot. Now, if I'm pushing him back with my abanico from here, here, one, two, three. These are setup shots for when I go finish with a lap tick strike. So one more time. Umbrella to four. All right, abanico strikes and finish. Um, we've covered nine techniques before, but I'm just breaking it down even further. Uh, three different strikes um, or defenses using the knife. So offensive maneuvers is the dumdab, which is any stabbing motions. Uh, from the stas, which is any slashing motions. And then the palasut is any passing through or slipping or sliding uh, or swooping motions. So what I mean by palasut is if he stabs, this is a palasut, I'm swooping. He attacks high, this is a palasut, I'm passing. Okay, so I'm letting it through, he stabs five, I step out of the way and I parry. All right, so that's a follow soot. So follow soot basically, basically means um, letting it through. So what we're covering today is, again, defending the snake, destroying the attacking hand, where I'm gonna cut and check the arm. And from here, the dungop is basically the sewing machine motion. So I'm just gonna keep on stabbing. So one more time, cut, stab, okay? Even if he were to grab my arm, from here, he's trying to prevent this from happening, all I have to do is semi-circle, go to my right, or I'm gonna do a clockwise motion, that, so that breaks his wrist for me to open up here for this attack right here, when I go in and I cut. So one more time, block, here, semi-circle, cut. Done that, okay? Panastas, any slicing motions, this is a panastas, I'm already cutting. So I'm cutting and I'm grabbing, okay? So from here, cutting, grabbing, and I'm gonna cut panastas, any slicing motion, so again, Major artery in the neck, major artery in the armpit, major artery in the inner thigh. So here I'm just practicing my slicing motions. Slice, neck, armpit, neck, inside artery, uh, and his inside thigh. All right, one more time. On the stops, artery, 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 okay? So when you start playing with combinations, you start changing up ele elevations, right? Like attack low, attack high, attack high, attack low, okay? Next one is palasut. So from here, here, palasut, let it through. And I finish with the panastas. Palasut, finish the dunga. Rock, push down, palasut, dunga. Okay, so your palasut, so even if he attacks me with a body cross here, 
I just do the side step and I parry him with it through. Counter. So your counter could be either a stab, which is a dunga, a slash, which is a panastas, or a palasut, and just letting it through. All right, so that set, the, the palasut basically sets you up for either one of those attacks, which is, let's say again, palasut, dunga, palasut, panastas. All right, so basically, stab or slash. Um, so we covered the stalemate position again, where you come here, you attack me at high, I tap low, you cover this, all right, break the grip, clockwise, break the grip, go straight for the neck. If I'm attacking high, he blocks. Again, semi-circle, clockwise, all right, so attack the neck again. One more time, block, low, clockwise, attack the neck. Again, here, attack the neck. So if I attack high, Block high, attack high, break the grip, attack the neck. Okay? So going from the southpaw position, so right lead to right lead. If he was going to feed a hammer fist or a straight jab with his right hand, either I can go inside block, or if he does a straight thrust, jab, inside block. So notice how I slip and block at the same time. Here. Okay? So that's part one. If he wants to come with a one two, so a right jab, left cross, I'm going to. Inside block, step and slide, and I'm going to gunting. So the gunting is a parry and a back fist to his inside bicep um, right here or his forearm area. So inside block on my left, step and slide, and gunting on my right. So notice that I'm gauging my distance. I'm not just staying here because this has a chance of slipping into my defense and hitting me. So I always do the step and slide, and I attack going backwards. Right? Like one, two, and this sets me up for a jab, a cross, which is my follow through. Or if I want to grapple, I might take down. Okay? So one more time. Block, gun team. Alright? This is the whatever here, it's up to you. You can strike here, or I'll cover this tooth inside um, arm drag. So from here I'm gonna go block, gun team, I'm gonna grab his arm, replacement step. Again, putting my left wrist on the foot of his elbow. And I'm going to drop down to my right knee, dropping him down at a 45 degree angle. From here, drop. Alright? From here, I can move on, or I can continue without another fight. So if I get one more time, one, two, down. Alright, and I can come down, I want to continue on with the fight. Right. If I want to take him down and run, I have that option too in case he has friends. I'm going to go here, 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 and I'm out. So that's just one variation of the inside arm drag. Um, so when we practice that, uh, traditionally, right lead to right lead, usually I do is carry, right hand, grab with my left, I do an inside arm drag off the right lead. Right? So more time, carry right, grab left, and take them down for my inside arm drag. So that's the basics of it. Okay? In actuality, in the fight, if he's going to resist, here, all right, I can't get this thing down. I'm going to hit him here. I'm going to hit him here. Down the way. All right. So there's a lot of things I can do to break his concentration and his balance because my objective is to get that arm drag takedown. So we learn, we tell, we teach arm drag just the first part, just so you know what the motion is. But between getting from that point, point A to point B. I'm striking him to shock his nervous system and then go through the takedown.